This video is sponsored by Cyber Fast Track, a platform to help accelerate the path to cybersecurity for college students. Receive hands on practice through their platform, Cyber Start, and win scholarships for world class training. Learn more about my thoughts on Cyber Fast Track in a few moments. Do you ever have anything in your life that you just have no idea what you're staring at? That's me every single day in cybersecurity right now. As a brand new cybersecurity professional, I literally have no idea what the heck I'm doing. And well, I've questioned everything I've ever studied. So this question begs for a video topic. Why the heck is cybersecurity so hard? Well, I think I've come up with an answer, but we'll see. All right, so for the short answer, cybersecurity is hard because there's such a broad spectrum of knowledge, skills, responsibilities, and a whole bunch of general other words that you can use to fill in the blank. There is such a broad spectrum of information and tools and technologies and concepts and attacks that you must know, and it's almost impossible to keep up with everything. I'm gonna divide this video into two topics. You have the learner's or student's perspective, and then the general industry. To start with the learner's perspective, I think that cybersecurity is hard because you have to understand general IT before you can add the layers of security on top. I've talked about this over and over and over again about how you're supposed to learn the foundations of IT before you get into cybersecurity, but that concept shouldn't be overlooked. This broad spectrum of IT foundations includes a lot of skills, including networking, software development, programming, scripting, cloud, and automation. You need to understand offensive security, the different types of attacks, as well as governance frameworks and business alignment. You have to understand all of that with tools, technologies, and anything in between. So basically, it's information overload. The amount of IT foundational technical skills that one must master before getting into cybersecurity it's almost impossible to master every single one of them. So you kind of have to pick your specialties and hope that you can get past those interviews and, and get past whatever those situations are. But ultimately, it's a broad spectrum of knowledge that you must know before getting into cybersecurity. And even when you get into cybersecurity, it's tough. Now, from a career perspective, why is cybersecurity so hard to get into? I think for me, what I've noticed is that there are just so many different routes that one can take to get into cybersecurity. This dispersed amount of learning routes makes it hard to navigate with where exactly you fit in within one of these learning paths. So comparing cybersecurity to an accounting job, and I'm not saying accounting is easy, but what I'm saying is, Accounting, usually you have a defined set path. You go through college, you get your CPA certification, and you're set to go into an accounting job. Cyber, there's not only the consideration of a four-year degree program, but you also have associate degrees, cybersecurity boot camps, you have graduate degrees, and then you have all of the certifications and you have to navigate which ones are more credible than others? Which ones will help you throughout your process of getting started in cyber? And then on top of that, you have to understand the different skills, requirements, responsibilities that companies are looking for in you know, a role that you're applying to. So from a career perspective, it's really hard to navigate because there isn't one set path. The traditional way of going to college, getting your cybersecurity degree and flourishing through your career is starting to be a little bit dated. There are different ways that you can get into cyber and that makes it, well, hard and confusing for individuals like ourselves. Okay, so we all know that cybersecurity, it's not as easy as it may seem, but there are several different ways to learn cybersecurity and that includes today's sponsor, Cyber Fast Track. Now, Cyber Fast Track is a effective, fast way to get started in cybersecurity with a hands-on practical approach. Now, of course, all platforms are gonna say that they're trying to sell you something. What I really like about Cyber Fast Track is the opportunity to gain a scholarship opportunity for world-class training, such as the SANS Institute training, which we all know is very expensive. To begin with Cyber Fast Track, you start with Cyber Start, which is a gamified way of getting yourself immersed into cybersecurity situations. In addition, there is the field manual, which walks through essential basic and foundational skills that you must need to get started, such as web, cryptography, Linux, programming, and binary. And there's walkthroughs throughout the different scenarios. Finally, you get to win scholarships for world-class training 
through the National Cyber Scholarship Foundation. And this is where you can get access to world-class training such as the SANS Institute Foundation's training. There are hundreds of platforms out there and I actually do want you to consider CyberStart in one of your possible avenues to learn because they offer those foundational skills, scholarship opportunities, and overall, they provide a real practical approach to getting started. So to make cybersecurity just a little bit easier, go ahead and use the link in the description below and sign up for Cyber Fast Track. So that's from a student's perspective. Now, what about industry? Why is it so hard to accomplish cybersecurity, whatever, in industry? You know, you open up your browser each week, you see that this company has been exposed to a data breach and this a government state-sponsored group has gotten into this facility. Well, reverting back to the basics, if we think about security from a business perspective, it mostly comes down to risk management. Risk management requires an organizational effort, and it's not just the tools and technologies which are going to accomplish this. This has to be both a cultural and a technical issue. When you take a look at an organization from a security perspective, it's endless. You have shadow IT, you have siloed groups of developers, you have people who are trying to bypass your access control so that you can get into your favorite uh, YouTube channel or something. I don't know. The proximity is endless and that makes it really hard to understand what's in your environment, known as asset management, understand how to manage what is in your environment. Now, in addition to that, you have to think about a corporate network. There are complex network topologies, production, corporation, and development networks. And they're all working perhaps in a different area of the business. That is very hard to track what is going on within the business. The way that you can solve one of these problems is getting professionals into the environment and helping you out. Well, guess what? If you're like me, you're not gonna hire me because I'm a beginner and I don't have experience. It's tough to find qualified individuals who have the experience and knowledge to go ahead and tackle these big problems. You're not gonna hire a whole bunch of beginner script kiddies to go out there and you know work on these huge networks. It just doesn't work like that. And then on top of this, you have attacks, offensive security. Well, they evolve and they're endless. The days of mitigating the traditional phishing email from a random Russian domain with complete different spellings and all of these random attachments, those are over. A business in general industry has thousands of systems, computer networks, infrastructure, hybrid environments, including cloud native and on-premise data centers. You can't patch every single vulnerability, the attack surface is ever expanding, and you have no idea what's going on in your environment. So all of this leads into one little tiny script kitty attacker coming in and, well, they only have to have one area or one way to get in to get, establish a foothold into your network. And then, well, you're screwed. That is why cybersecurity is not easy. The marketing side of the industry often likes to depict cyber as like these dark rooms, hackers, it's easy to get into, lucrative, whatever. Yeah, it's not like that. I mean, if you have those feelings, that's great. But the majority of people, or maybe it's just me, I don't really know. Yeah, cybersecurity is very hard. Hopefully this video has been enlightening and that, you know, you're not the only one struggling out there not knowing a lot of things. And yeah. Until the next video, have a good day.